gang, what's going on? So I'm making some more observations. Obviously, I'm not the foremost Yankee expert, but there are certain things that I've been picking up on and noticing, and I'm sure a lot of other people are doing it too. So I want to share with you and, and give you my insights, and I want you to give me some your again, some of yours in the comments, obviously. If it's your first time here, welcome. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification button if you like good content on a consistent basis, particularly with the Yankees. You're going to get a lot of it here. Post-game recaps, breaking news, all different types of stuff. So, And it's greatly helpful to the channel's growth, like I said yesterday. I'm on my march to 25,000 subs. We're over 10 now. So by you uh, subscribing to the channel, it's really helpful towards us getting there. So I appreciate you. So some of the observations I've seen. And, and you know, the Yankees overall, so they have this ob obviously some holes. And the lineup is kind of funky the way that it's currently constructed. I mean, the batting order more specifically and... There's still no rhyme or reason to it or consistency, so I still think they're they're that's a work in progress. Um, I will say this: I mean, the, you know, they have more home runs than they have at this point last year. We only have a six-game sample anyway, and they are hitting the ball harder overall. But so a lot of these hits are finding themselves right into gloves, whether it be the shift, you know, <laughs> that's being played against them, or you know, hitting a lot of balls into Alex Verdugo's glove or these. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays infield is really, really, uh, you know, taking advantage of this shift and, and stealing a lot of base hits from the Yankees. So that's an unfortunate part. Um, the this, the slow, uh, starting pitching is slowly getting there. Garrett Cole had a better game last night than he did the first game. I know people are still uh, very outraged at Cole, but he, you know, keep in mind too the the other starting pitchers around major leagues. A lot of the big ones, particularly ones that. So many Yankee fans want to trade for. They sucked their first game, too, and they had a slightly better improvement their second game. So it's just across the board. You know, pitchers for uh, for a lot of it uh, are starting slow, and they still have to build a pitch count. So it is what it is. So, But with that, um, you know, one of the things I noticed, too, is they don't really have any – and you, this is obvious. They don't have any clear backup in center field, like beyond Aaron Hicks. I mean, with the exception of Tim LaCastro – Ender and Ciarte and, and Esteban Florial, who is hitting better in the minor leagues and but and striking out less, so that's an encouraging sign too. Um, there's no real obvious major league option. I mean, Michael Conforto's out there. I don't know if they're going to sign him or not. Or I, I'm, I'm still predicting that the Guardians will probably sign him, but uh, we'll see. Um, you know, this is one of the reasons why I think it would, uh, you know them trading for Brian Reynolds would have been such a good idea, but. You know, the, the, the ransom is going to be so ridiculously high, so I don't see that happening at this point. Um, you know, and if they do make a move with Judge, maybe they'll bring in somebody like a, a Trent Grisham from San Diego, somebody to that effect who's a, who's a proven major league outfielder uh, to fill up one of the spots. I mean, Joey Gallo is done after this year. His bat's slowly coming around. It's not sexy yet, but it's 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 slow. And I don't expect it to be sexy at any point, at least in terms of batting average. But... Um, I still see it coming around a little bit, so and he's getting to, he's getting to touch the ball a little bit more, and he's just just getting under a couple things, and um, and the strikeout numbers are not exactly that onerous yet, even though he's had a couple of big strikeout games, but um, so these are signs that I you know observations that I've made. I mean DJ's defense, it looks like DJ's back. Rizzo has been a massive upgrade in first base. His defense is there too, and Kyle Higashioka, even though he's not hitting yet. Um, He's definitely framing balls and calling better games. I want to see Trevino in there a little bit more. I think it might be time to give Kigashioka a rest here. Um, I'm guessing is Trevino's probably going to be there to catch Severino tonight, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there too. Um, you know, offensively too, kind of Falefa hasn't come around yet either, and I know a lot of people want him gone too. Just keep in mind, a lot of the big shortstops are not hitting either. Correa, Simeon, uh, Trevor Story. Their stats are dog poop. They're terrible right now. You know, and again, I said this last night in the live stream too. It takes a while to adapt here. Didi was awful when he came here. Jason Jambi was awful when he came here. Tina was awful when he came here. It's just part of the territory. It comes being a Yankee. I am confident the kind of left will get it around. His defense has significantly improved the last couple of days too. I'm confident his offense will be there too. So, uh, but those are my observations right now. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, you know, the bullpen is still strong. You know, I'm happy to see Cole go into the sixth. And I'd like to see Nestor get up there. I'd like to see Severino at least go through five. And, uh, and then to use some of these long reliever guys, like Clark Schmidt and Michael King and some of these dudes. And maybe Davey Garcia and Luis Hill will get a chance at some point as well. But, um, you know, this is the, the Yankees are 3-3 three and three right now, but they're playing a little bit better than 3-3 three and three in my opinion. So still leaving too many runners in scoring position, yes. That has to be fixed. Absolutely. Situational hitting, yes. But uh, I, I am glad that they're hitting... The ball more squarely, 
and uh, it's just it, it, at some point it'll stop finding so many gloves. But let's get into it. Let me know what you think, guys. <laughs> 